Let us visualize fluid acceleration using the nozzle of a garden hose. To understand its acceleration, it is very important to know the difference between steady and uniform flow. You will never understand concept of material derivative if you can't figure out what uniform and steady flow are. When the velocity of a fluid at a point does not change with time, we refer to the flow as steady flow. And when the velocity does not change from one position to the next, it is referred to as uniform flow. Look at the converging section of the nozzle. Velocities are not changing on those fixed points. They stay the same quantitative value, which makes it steady flow. But it is changing from one position to next so it is not a uniform flow. Now, again take a look at the cylindrical section of this nozzle. Velocity is again not changing at this point with time. So a steady flow. And velocity is also not changing from one position to another. So a uniform flow and this gives the combination of steady uniform flow. So on a cylindrical section, water has steady uniform flow. But on conical section, the flow is steady but not uniform. Now if the velocity is function of position and time, we can get acceleration of this nozzle using the material derivative. The first term on this right side is related with point, whereas the second term is related with location. This first term will be zero if there exists steady flow and steady flow is related with point. Whereas the second term will be zero if it has uniform flow and uniform flow is related with location. So, the first term on the right side indicates the time rate of change of the velocity of the particle. As the velocity at a fixed point is not changing with time. Velocity is constant and steady. So partial derivative of this constant velocity at fixed point is always zero. But the velocity is increasing along the position of this nozzle and change from one position to the next. So there exists acceleration because velocity is increasing along its position. This non-uniform flow creates acceleration. So, even though flow is steady, there exists acceleration. So never imagine the nozzle has zero acceleration if it has steady flow. But what about acceleration on cylindrical section of this nozzle? Do acceleration exist on this location? Well, the flow is steady so the first terms on the right side cancel out. Also the flow is uniform. As the velocity is not changing with position. So in this case the second term also cancel out. Hence the acceleration is zero. Now note that, while the flow is steady from the point of view of a fixed observer in the Eulerian reference frame, it is not steady from the Lagrangian reference frame, moving with a fluid particle that enters the nozzle and accelerates as it passes through the nozzle.